spoken and phonetics for changes and adult learners. Class 2 Self-introduction to your friend and before the class. Hi guys, this is Ammar, your new friend. I'm so much happy to be a part of you. Uh, yes, let me tell you about my family. My father is a teacher and my mother is a homemaker. I have a sister and she's in class 9. If you ask me about my hobby, I'd say I'm crazy about playing guitar. And my favorite food, well, fast food, though I know it will kill me fast. Lastly, by ambition. I want to be a famous journalist. That's all about me. Thanks. So, sir, whenever we introduce ourselves to a friend or before the class, you know, whenever we say that, Hi guys, this is Amar, your new friend. I'm so much happy to be a part of you. My father is a teacher and my mother is something. We just say that our father is that, our mother is that. But we never say that we are introducing our family, not us. <laughs> whenever we are introducing us, we include our family. But we never say that this is related to our family, not us. So this is a big misconception that whenever we want to introduce ourselves, we should yeah, generally speak about ourselves not about our family and if we want to mention anything about our family then we should tell it to the people that uh yeah let me tell you about my family we should start it with this right mm, yeah you're right uh in terms of job interview you need to talk about your strengths your weaknesses your ambition your capacity your skills and others and in general cases like talking uh, about yourself before classmates or to the relatives. You can talk about your family and others, but in terms of job interview or in terms of any uh, interview session with the delegates, you need to talk about your weaknesses, your capacity, your soft skills, your achievements, and sometimes you can talk about your uh, weaknesses and negative points. But yeah, or positively. when you're in a conference or in a meeting, you can say about yourselves, but not about your family. Try to avoid mm -hmm. those. Yeah. Very true. Now, so, we've got a gap, right, Siren? Yeah, yeah, it's right. my turn. Can you, can you feel the gap in? Sure. So I'll do the gap with my name. You can put your name there and you can put your info there, okay? Hi, my name's Zareen. I'm originally from Rangpur, but my family moved from Rangpur to Dhaka when I was about two. So I grew there. I completed my high school two years ago and I'm currently attending a university in my city. I'm majoring in TESOL with a minor in phonetics. I also work part-time as a cashier at Greenhouse Cafe. Life is really busy, but I enjoy traveling, reading, attending online classes, and hanging out with friends in my free time. When I graduate, I want to work for a company like Google. Now, at this moment, we are going to learn how to introduce someone before a class. So, let's get started. Respected teacher, Dear friends, greetings to all of you. I'm privileged to get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Saeed and I'm from Nuakali. My father is a teacher and my mother is a homemaker. I have a sister and she's in class 9 at BOS. My main ambition is to be an administrator. I took admission here to sharpen my knowledge and make me a worthy global citizen. We started the journey today and we'll be together no matter what happens. Thank you all. Now, Zarin, what is the next activity? Limerick or Limerick? Hi, it's Limerick. Yeah. Uh, what the hell Limerick is? I know. Oh, what is that? I know. Oh, that's good. What do you know? So, what I know about limericks is that a limerick is a five-line funny poem. So, there'll be five lines? Yeah, there will be five lines and it will be really funny that you will laugh your... Like, mm. you'll burst into laughter. And the first, second and fifth line of the limerick rhyme the same. Yeah. And the third and the fourth lines rhyme the same. 
So let's listen to a limerick, right? Yeah, sure. The first limerick goes this way. Can't I look in my ear? Really? Hmm. <laughs> you can't. You can give it a try. There once was a young girl who said, "Why? Can't I look in my ear with my eye? If I put my mind to it, I'm sure I can do it. You never can tell till you try." You know, I can look into my ear with my eye. Okay, now can you give it a faster version? Okay, uh, I know that faster versions are generally for tongue twisters, but I'll give it a try on limericks and let's see how it goes. Okay, mm. so there once was a young girl who said, "Why can't I look in my ear with my eye? If I put my mind to it, I'm sure I can do it. You never can tell till you try." Yeah, dear learners, you have to try limericks time and again. That will help you to improve your. fluency the second limerick is called you have a twin sir did you notice that here it's not written you have it's written you've yeah. so is you've the contracted form of you have yeah is you've a twin there was a young fellow named flynn who was really remarkably thin when he carried a pole people said bless my soul what a shock to find out you have a twin You know what, Flynn Rider from the movie Tangled is kind of the same person as this Flynn. Mm-hmm. Faster version now. There was a young fellow named Flynn who was really remarkably thin. When he carried a pole, people said, "Bless my soul, what a shock to find out you have a twin." Ah, it was so damn fun. It was like a rap. Ah, yeah, it was. Now, is there any, the next activity is called the sentence making machine, right? Okay. So. One by It's one, yeah, we can create lots of sentences. So we will go this way. For example, the truth. You see the naked, unnaked truth. So it goes with it is a naked truth, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't match with he is or she is. Iti ekti dhaha shottu idhar na rakhi hai. Okay. So let me begin. It is a naked truth. It is a naked greed. He is a naked man. He is a naked boy. She is a naked child. It is a much needed rest. It is a much needed vacation. He is a noted film director. He is a noted actor. She is an actress. He is a noted writer. She is obsessed with money it is an oppressed family it is a well ordered room he is a very organized person it is a very organized company it is a very organized crime it is a very organized company it is a very organized college it is an outdated weapon it is an outdated idea It is an overcrowded city. It is an overcrowded prison. It is an overcrowded school. She is an overjoyed student. He is an overjoyed employee. He is an overjoyed teacher. It is an overpopulated country. It is an overpopulated area. It is an overpriced shoe. It is an overpriced shirt. It is an overpriced watch. She is an overqualified employee. She is an overrated singer. She is an overrated actor. She is an overrated actress. Zarin, we can use actor with females nowadays also. Yeah, because now it's a common gender for mm. everyone. She is an overrated model. It is an overworked but underpaid job. Sure, no, no. It yeah. is an overworked but underpaid, underpaid job. job. We can create a lot of nice sentences. Okay, the next one. It is a packed bus. It is a packed train. She is absolutely parched, meaning thirsty. Yeah. It is a perfumed bath oil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It is a powdered milk. It is a practiced skill. It is a preferred option. It is a premeditated murder. It is a premeditated attack. 
It is a premeditated rape. It is a premeditated killing. It is a prepared statement. It is a prescribed medicine. She is a very principled woman. It is a processed cheese. It is a processed meat. It is a prolonged use of the drug. It is a puzzled look. Essentials gulo koto shundor ebong vocabulary gulo eigulo kintu ami onek koshto kore kore dictionary ghete ghete tar pore ekom toiri korechi. Now you can create a lot of good sentences by using this cool vocabulary. Sir, I see at the end like there is a column where you have written really. It ekta dialogue akar hobe. Jemon ami আমি রিয়েলি উত্তর দিতে পারি এবং তুমি পরে আবার আবার এর উত্তরের এগেনস্ট আর একটা উত্তর দিতে পারো যেমন আমি একটা যদি বলি এরকম হি ইজ অ্যান এক্সপিরিয়েন্স টিচার রিয়েলি হুম লাইক ইটস উই ক্যান মেক ডায়লগস লাইক দিস ওয়ে ইয়া সো লেটস গো ফর দিস রাইট ওকে ইউ আর ট্যালেন্টেড হানি ওকে সো ইউ ইউ সো আই উইল সে দ রিয়েলি এন্ড ইউ উইল সে ইয়া উই উইল উই ক্যান মিক্স আপ রাইট ওকে সো অ্যাট ফার্স্ট মি এন্ড দেন ইউ ওকে ওকে He is an experienced teacher. Really? No, not like you. Mm, okay. Uh it is an extended news bulletin. Really? Any doubt? No. It is a pair of faded jeans. Yeah, I see that you were wearing. It is a pair of faded curtains. Looks nice. Mm, but we should change them. <laughs> yeah. It is a faded wallpaper. Yeah, you're right. We should change them soon. She is a failed actress. Oh, so sad. Yeah, I can't take it. He is a failed writer. Really? Yeah, his book didn't get the records. Mm, it should be some Didn't pathetic. bring any records. Yeah. It is a finished product. Oh, well, wow, looks nice. It is a fixed price. How come? It's overpriced. No, it's not. I need to make profit. Mhm. Mm I know, I know. It is a fixed interest rate. Well, it is a flooded field. It is it is. It is a forced repatriation. Why? Army did this. Oh. It is a forced retirement. Unethical indeed. Mhm. Mm it is a forced marriage. People shouldn't do that. Uh, they shouldn't, yeah. It is a forced divorce. Pathetic indeed, right? Yeah. It is a fossilized bone. Hmm, strong, right? Very old. Yeah. It is a fragmented society. Really? Mhm. Mm Not acceptable. It is a framed photograph. Wow, so we can hang it on the wall, right? Yeah. It is a pair of silver framed spectacles, the thing you are wearing. Ah. Uh, worst looking. <laughs> it is a fried egg. May I eat it? No, it's for me. It is a gifted child, like I was a gifted child for my family, Not right? Not you were. You are. Oh, thank you so much. It is a heated debate. Oh really? No less between you and me. <laughs> it is a hooded jacket. It is, yeah. I love these kinds of jacket. Especially in for winter, right? Yeah. He has an impaired vision. Oh. He has an impaired hearing. Meaning he has got short of hearing or yeah, he has yeah. got hearing problems, yeah. right? Okay. She is an impoverished young actor. Really? But she made a lot of success in her life. Mm, that was in the past. Okay. It is an indebted country. Yeah, Sri Lanka like this. It is a heavily indebted company. Oh, really? Mm, for COVID. It is an informed choice. It is really. It is an in informed opinion. Oh. It is an injured back. Did you injure your back? Uh yeah, once. No, this is not you. Then who is it? Yeah, who is it? Yeah. It is an inspired performance. Inspired by whom? By Yasir. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really, na? No? Is Yasir. It is an inspired choice. 
It is, it is, it is. It is an inspired suggestion. Who suggested that? Me. Again you? Yeah, again you. And uh, it is an inspired guess. Maybe I guessed this one? That's why it always uh, goes wrong actually. It is an interested party. It is really. He is an interested person. Oh really? Interested in what? In everything. She is an interested student. Like me. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like you. Why? Because I love you. <laughs> okay. He is an introverted child. Like me, right? No. Okay. It is an isolated farm. Really? Mm -hmm. Also, it is an isolated village. Yeah, it is. It is a jammed drawer. Really? It doesn't open out? No, it doesn't. Okay. It is a knotted rope. Can you not? I can. You so you can not. <laughs> I can not. So you cannot not, right? No, I can not. You said you cannot not. I can. Who's there on the door? I You can. said you cannot not, so not not means knocking on the door. <laughs> and who's there knocking on the door? It's really a nice joke, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. He is a married man. It is a married life. She is a married omen. It is a med school. Meaning medical school, right? Yeah. She is a med student. Meaning she studies medical stuff. <laughs> it is a melted butter. Do you love butter? Uh, I love butter. I love butter with my popcorn. It is a melted chocolate. Mmm, yum. It is a melted cheese. I also like melted cheese on my burger. It is a misguided attempt. It is a misguided business plan. It is a mixed reaction. It is a mixed school. That means both boys and girls study there, right? Yeah, combined school. Yeah, say. yeah. It is a moneyed family. He is a motivated employee. She is a self-motivated person. Just like me. Mm -hmm, without doubt. Okay, Zarin, what is the next activity? A motivational story. Called? Eight truths of life. So, here we go. So someone is saying this, right? Yeah, right. So, uh, let me tell about her. So, she says, Hello everyone, greetings, this is Aisha. Hope you are fit and fine. I'm also doing great. Today, I want to tell you a story called Eight Truths of Life. So, let's begin. You can say the truth one, sir. Yeah, truth one. Don't let someone become a priority in your life when you are just an option in their life. Relationships work best when they are balanced. Very true. It's a very good truth. Very true. And whenever we want to maintain relationships with people, we have to maintain this absolutely. Mm -hmm. Truth two. Never explain yourself to anyone. Because the person who likes you doesn't need it. And the person who doesn't like you won't believe it. Like you won't believe it. Very true, right? Yeah. Truth three. When you keep saying you are busy, then you are never free. When you keep saying you have no time, then you'll never have time. When you keep saying that you will do it tomorrow, then your tomorrow will never come. Well, I just find some kind of relationships with this thing and with the working parents. Like whenever the children come to them and say, Mom, I want to play with you. Dad, I want to play with you. They say that I'm busy, not now. Mm -hmm. And their business stays the whole time. They never get free. Yeah. And whenever you say that, Dad, I want to go out with you tomorrow, he says, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. So this tomorrow never comes. Like, you just keep it pending. But don't keep a word pending, right? Do it the time you have. And do it instantly when you get the time to do it, right? Very, very true. Mm -hmm. Truth four. When we wake up in the morning, we have two simple choices. Go back to sleep and dream. Or wake up and chase those dreams. Choice is yours. 
What's a nice? You know, I follow this every time. So whenever uh, you know this happens to me every time, whenever I am dreaming something really good, my mom then calls me in the morning, and I feel really irritated that I couldn't finish my dream. I couldn't finish seeing my dream. But then I think that the dream I was dreaming, I can implement it in my real life, right? So. I then chase after that dream and I try to implement it in my real life, not just see the dream in my sleep. You go for action. Yeah, actually. I go for the action. Truth five: We make them cry who care for us. We cry for those who never care for us, and we care for those who will never cry for us. This is the truth of life. It is strange, but true. Once you realize this, it's never too late to change. Yeah, suppose you are thinking that, huh? He was a very nice man. He was very famous in the city. He died, and you started crying for him, and you will see that he never even knew your name, so he never cared about you. So it is a waste of time for you to cry for him. So this is really, really influenced in our life, as far as I know. Yeah. How about Truth that? Truth six. Don't make promises when you are in joy. Don't reply when you are sad. Don't take decision when you are angry. Think twice, act once. Very true, because you can be misled by your emotions. Like suppose you are in a very joyous mood that you just got the first place in this competition, and your friend asked that promise me you will give us a treat for this championship. And one day you fall in such a money crisis, you made a promise to your friends that you will give them a treat, but you are not able to give the treat now. So it will be the breaking of the promise. And whenever you are sad, someone asks you that,、uh, do you like? That kind of works or that kind of activity, you are sad. You will be in such an irritated mood, and you will say that no, I'm not interested in that. But actually, you are really good at that, and that may change your life drastically. And when you are very angry, if you make a wrong decision at that time, that decision will leave a very bad influence on your life, which you will regret in future.、Mm. So whenever we are angry, we should not make quick decisions. We should think twice and then act once. We have to be realistic all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. Truth seven: Time is like a river. You can touch the same water twice because the water that has passed will never pass again. You know why do people say that seven is a lucky number? Why? Because in the、I、truth number in, seven, we got the best motivation. <laughs> This is、Sometimes. told by the parents to their children all the time.、Yeah. The parents always inspire us to utilize our time because it flows like a river, and whatever happened, we cannot bring it to the present. So we go, should utilize the time. You cannot the go、time. back. You cannot yeah, correct your past.、Back. Yeah, you cannot. Yeah. What is the truth? Truth eight. eight: Life is short. Time is fast. No reply. No rewind. So enjoy every moment as it comes. These are the realities of life. Even though you see, whenever there are few people, even though they are sad, they try to be happy because they know that life is short, and one day we have to go to the seventh sky, and we have to admit our works to the Almighty. So whenever we are in this world, we should enjoy everything, and we should also devote ourselves to the ibadat of the Almighty. So that we can lead a very happy life, and we can have the good results in the hereafter. And we, to be to be happy, we need to follow our principle. Yeah, yeah. And that is, we have to be happy with what we have. Yeah. So let's end the program. Hope you liked my story. Next time, I will tell you another beautiful story, so that you can stay positive. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.